The Invisible Coaching Workshop, which we've developed, is an experiential set of exercises and so on, which will help you to take on the awareness, the beliefs and the behaviours of a natural coach. Over the two days, there will be a whole series of exercises where you learn to do things where you raise your awareness and you practice and you practice so that we hope to get the behaviours and the beliefs really into the muscle of the body, so to speak. But you might also wonder, how does it all fit together? So I'd like to introduce you now to the model uh, into which all our various exercises will fit. So this is a model of coaching which we've developed at Brevi Group, which fits together the various processes which we think are the most useful. The first key is that of confidentiality. So the first part of the model is what we think of as a bubble of security, a bubble of confidentiality. So if you think of yourself, when you're working with somebody, we have this little bubble around us in which things that are happening are confidential, they're secret, any diversions we just ignore them. So the first thing is to create this bubble around the client and the coach in which is we have a situation of safety. Now, the major key, a major process and skill that uh, coaches will be using will be that of asking questions. The main purpose in, <coughs> in coaching is to raise awareness, to challenge and such like, and, and asking questions is one of the key skills. Now, clearly, if you're going to ask a lot of questions, you also need to use your ears. It's no good asking questions unless you can listen. And by listening, I don't just mean listening to what they're saying. I mean listening in an effective manner so that you can hear, hear what's behind what they're saying and you can detect the messages other than the obvious. And in order to do that, you also need to use your eyes. There's a great deal that you can observe from the facial expressions and responses of the person and from their general body language. So we ask questions, we use our ears, and we use our eyes. In addition to that, there are three particular processes which we have uh, adopted, which are those uh, actually developed in NLP. The first one, which I use a great deal, both in my coaching and also in my consultancy and in my facilitation, was developed by Robert Diltz, and he calls it the neurological levels. In the context of our coach training, we're going to call it either the six levels of coaching, or another application of it where we relate the levels to each other, we can call it the ladder of success. So there are several things that we can evolve out of uh, Robert Diltz's logical levels, and we'll be introducing those to the uh, delegates on our course. The next one that we shall, be, we shall be teaching people is how to sit in the shoes of, uh, of the other people. And we call this perceptual positions. This is another NLP thing. So we help people to sit in their own shoes and experience really what it is that, that it, it's like to be themselves and what are the things that are important to them. Sometimes people who are not particularly... Uh, um, assertive, they don't recognize fully what their own needs are. So the first thing we teach people is really to experience what it is and is what is important about being them. Secondly, we help them to move out of their own shoes and into the shoes of another person in a particular uh, relationship or situation. And then we help them to experience what it's like to be in those shoes. What's important? What are they frightened about? about what are they nervous about? And we particularly, having got them into that position, we just say, OK, look over at this other person and what do you see over there? What are you experiencing about that person? And it's amazing, actually, how much knowledge and information that you have collected subliminally that you may not be aware of. So we help people to learn more about themselves, more about the other person. Then we get them to step out right out again and step into this third position, which uh, um, is the 
uh, observer position where they stand right back they remove now any emotional relationship and they just observe what they see these two people doing and it's surprising again how much wisdom they can draw out of the situation and then we ask them okay now that you're in this position and you you can see this person and this person what, what's going on and particularly what advice would you give to this person then you could go around several times again because you could put them back into their own position with the benefit of the advice, go through it and again and again. It's amazing how much you could learn by going through this exercise. Now clearly, uh, in, when we're teaching people, we're physically getting them to move. So we might get them to move from chair to chair, or we might get them to move just from standing position to standing position. But once you have this model, actually ingrained in the mind, then in the middle of a meeting or a coaching session or whatever, it's possible very quickly just to flip between the three positions uh, and to gain that benefit. And then the third one which we teach In NLP terms, this is called setting well-formed outcomes. But what I would say is the eight questions for success. And when I introduce people to this, which I frequently do in the various aspects of my work, I say that this sheet of questions that I'm about to give you is one of the most valuable pieces of paper you will ever touch. Because by going through this structure of asking questions, then you can really clarify what it is you want to do. You can clarify the things that might get in the way or might support you. And you can commit at an emotional level to actually achieving what it is that you're out to do. And I reckon it can be used in any decision-making situation. But it's particularly useful for delegation where two people need to make sure that they can understand these questions uh, uh, successfully. So these are the, the, this is the basic model. We create an environment, a bubble of safety and security. We ask questions, we listen and we watch. We then use the ladder of success. We help people to put themselves into the position of the of the other people to understand the situation better and to learn better how to respond. And then finally we put them together into a, a, an outcome statement which is one that will be really effective for them and which will work their way through. So that's the basic model which pulls everything together of what people will be learning. So I hope that uh, you will be encouraged to join us at the uh, Invisible Coaching Workshop where you'll get real experience of going through each of these things. And when you leave, you will be guaranteed uh, to have the beliefs and behaviours of a natural coach. Somebody who just does it naturally, apparently naturally, masters of any skill appear to do things naturally, although we know there's been a lot of practice going on beforehand. And when you've achieved that, you will be surprised how effective you are in facilitating other people's progress. Thank you.